I would take a bullet for you. I would, I would, I could never love anything as much as I love you. And you have to understand this, a high quality man is probably building something like a business or he's an athlete or, you know, he's got a craft, he's got something that he's working on 24 seven. And with that comes a lot of stress, stress on the body, stress on the mind, stress on your, your emotions. And so a man wants a woman that is ultimately going to give him peace. You know, high quality man wants a woman that gives him peace. She's got that nourishing feminine energy. She cares for him. When you think about what a high value woman is, and if you haven't watched my last video on what it means to be a high value woman, I highly recommend that you watch that because it is very thorough and we go into a lot of detail about what it means to be a high value woman in general. So this is the second part to that video. We're going to be talking all about what it means to be a high value woman within a relationship. I've had a lot of you guys reach out to me on Instagram and on YouTube in the comments about wanting a video on what it means to really be high value with your man and how to step into that value if you're already in a relationship. Now, in this video, I'm not only gonna go over that, but I'm also gonna go over what to look for in a high value man and what a high value man is and what a high value man is not, what a high value woman needs to do and what a high value woman within a relationship should not do. These things are so important because a lot of people go into the dating arena thinking that I'm already high value without having to do any work. Nobody is perfect. I do wanna emphasize that you are already a high value person but you may establish yourself as low value to other people and they will treat you accordingly. First thing I want you to do, I want you to hit the subscribe button and become a part of the family because a lot of you come back and watch the videos. And today we're gonna go over some really good stuff that I think will definitely be able to help you and improve your life. So become a part of the family and please hit the subscribe button. Second, I want you to get your notebook because on this channel, you know that we take a lot of notes we take notes so that way we can apply these principles to our lives and take actionable steps that will change our life for the better. Third, I want you to follow the Instagram, become a part of the family. If you don't know, I am a mindset coach, personal trainer, and nutritionist. So if you wanna learn anything about that, more about that, go visit my Instagram. And if not, just feel free to reach out to me on there. I love talking to you guys and hearing what videos you want from me, so that's a great way to get in contact with me. So the first thing that I want us to talk about is your value already. You need to understand that your value is already skyrocket because you're born into being high value. You are born into being a valuable person. You are worth so much already, so much. And a lot of people, they don't know that and they hear that but they don't know that they don't embody that and that is so important to understand because as we grow up we feel less and less valuable and we feel like we have to earn our value and that's not true you need to understand that you were born into this world with so much value now the second thing that you have to understand is that if you don't know your value you are communicating to others that you are low value so just because you are high value based on your actions, based on your energy, based on the things that you embody, you communicate to other people how much value you possess. And that's sadly just how things are. Not everyone sees the value in you if you don't even see the value in you. So on top of that, we want to establish that you need to value yourself. If you aren't valuing yourself, what are you doing? If you don't know how to value yourself, value your time, value your energy, know that you are a queen, you are stepping into that energy. How is anyone else going to know that you are high value? How is anyone else going to be able to act on the value that you have? It's very easy if you establish to other people that you are low value and low maintenance that you are low value. Things that take a lot of maintenance require a lot of care, require a lot of energy require proper treatment. Things that are low value don't require much attention. They don't require any maintenance, little to no maintenance, and they aren't appreciated as much as something that is high value. Remember, if you don't know your value, no one else can either. You need to also understand that if you don't know your value, people will take advantage of that. I have had so many people 
try to take advantage of me, try to take advantage of my energy and the things that I offer within a relationship and in a friendship, just because I used to not be aware of the value that I bring to someone else's life. As a strong woman of faith, hardworking, goal-setting, healthy woman, the things that I know I can bring to a friendship require that the other person also gives back to me. Yeah. If you are not having people around you and you're not engaging in relationships that also put value within your own life, you're going to feel so drained. That is why it's so important that you know your value. You also need to know that you have to set high expectations. Once you step into knowing that you have high value, your expect need to match that value. I see so many women saying, I'm so low maintenance and the only thing I asked for was loyalty and I still got cheated on. And I'm gonna tell you right now, I used to be there. I literally was in that position. Um, yikes. Being the chill girlfriend, being the cool girl, the one that was basically a pick me, to be quite honest. And that got me nothing but pain and suffering. We are in such a low expectation era. We are producing feminine, weak-minded men because no one sets expectations anymore. I truly don't understand at what point things changed from the 1950s romantic love where masculine and feminine energy was still very present and even before that up until the 1960s, there was a harmony with how men and women would treat each other within their relationships. Divorce rates were lower. Love was stronger and more passionate. And we're in an era where with so much fake feminism going around and all of these things that have caused such a divide between what it means to really be in love anymore and what women and men offer within a relationship. It's changed the expect on how a woman should act and how a man should treat a woman within a relationship. So now we have so many women that don't want to place any expectations on men or their husbands and they get nothing in return. And they go into these relationships giving themselves, not understanding their value and having no expectations for their man. And because if you go into a relationship with no expectations and you are with a man or you have attracted a man that is low value, in the end, you are lowering your perceived value. You're not able to get what you want and get what you deserve because no expectations have been placed. So stepping into things to look for. So this is gonna be an interesting one. And a lot of men are going to be upset me calling them out but i'm not here for the men i'm here for the ladies and if you're offended just do better do better you can go now you need to watch for unmanly behavior in these men you need to understand that not every man on the planet is a good man and not every man on the planet is high value and that should be very obvious to you just because a man is extremely attractive does not mean he's high value. Just because a man is extremely wealthy does not mean that he is high value. Just because he has a job does not mean that he is high value, mama. Your ick meter needs to be incredibly sensitive. You need to be watching for signs that he is more of a man than a woman. Some of these men want to be treated like a princess. I think almost everyone on the planet, except for these delusional men, can agree that a man asking for flowers is feminine and is a red flag. I just don't understand why there's so many men that are expecting to be treated like the woman in the relationship. If I am seeking a masculine man not only to take care of me, to take care of a family, and to protect, to provide, you know, normal masculine traits, why are you expecting flowers and teddy bears and chocolates? If your man is the type of man that wants you to do all of these things that are typically things that women would enjoy from a man and he's not willing to even buy you flowers and it's just 
I'm, I'm not even gonna address that. Things in a high value man are wanting to take initiative, having high drive, having goals, having a great mindset, being a provider and protecting a man. Looking for that provider and protecting instinct in a man, that instinct should be bold. Bold. A high value, masculine, healthy man is going to have a strong protecting and providing instinct. And you will be able to tell whether this is the case within the first 24 hours of being around a man. You also need to understand what a masculine and feminine man look like. Now, this video is specifically for a woman looking for a high value man or a woman trying to be high value and match the value that her man is giving her. Specifically for that. Understand that there are many low value men within this arena. And because there are so many low vibrational women and so many women that are not stepping into their inherent value and they are projecting that they are lower value to these men, us as women are communicating to them that these are the new standards. These are the new expectations. We have set the expectations so low that so many men are underperforming in their relationships and they are not stepping into their high value because we have not given them a reason to. If you're a high value woman and you are communicating high value, you are acting in accordance, men will have to work in order to match that. You need to understand that a high value man has high expectations for his woman. So you should too. You should have high expectations. You should have high expectations for yourself and him. If you can't expect a rich man, goal-oriented, family-oriented, a man that has initiative, drive, passion, and has multiple companies, multiple revenue streams, and has a very strong protecting and providing instinct to be attracted to you if you are on your phone all day and have no goals and are wondering why nothing's working for you. Understand that a lot of these high value men are not at the club all of the time. You're not going to meet a high value man at a strip club. You're just not going. He went to the strip club for a reason and he went to the club for a reason. And the reason was not to find a high value woman. You need to understand that your value as a woman is so much deeper than how you look. To men, that's a really big part of their attraction towards women, but I have seen so many gorgeous women have so low vibrational experiences and attract the worst men because they are communicating extreme low value traits. The natural balance of feminine and masculine energy and when a woman is so heavily in her masculine she is going to attract a feminine man and with feminine men you do not get the protecting providing instinct you do not get the hard-working initiative taking man because in a feminine state that is not the natural state of femininity it's just not a big thing that you've probably heard in a lot of videos on youtube and on tiktok is that femininity is stepping into that receiving energy, really taking things a step back and being able to receive and follow and being able to admit to your man. And now that role is reversed onto a man. It's just unnatural. You're not going to get what it is that you're looking for. If you're looking for a masculine man with those high value traits, you're not going to find that within a feminine man. Now, if you are happy within that relationship, that is you, that's your choice. I was in that kind of relationship and I've seen that with so many of my friends. I've seen that with family members and they are so unhappy and wondering why this is the reason. So going back to understand the value of men, you have to understand that a high value man is not a rich man. A man can be rich and still be self-centered and greedy and that in itself proves that he does not have a protecting and providing mindset and he's not able to properly care for a family. And a man without money does not necessarily mean that he is a low value man. There's a big difference between being broke and being poor. A man that is broke but has a providing and protecting mindset will always rise up again. The finances are just temporary. And as a woman, a high value woman, if he is treating you correctly, you should not just leave a man because he is currently broke 
but has all the traits of a high value man. Now, poor man, that is a mindset. Poor is a mindset. And if he is poor and he has no initiative, no goals, he is not in the protecting and providing mindset, best believe that you will also have that mindset eventually. You also have the poor mindset. The poor mindset is the, oh, woe's me, and I can't do this, and I won't do that, and it's excuses. It really is just excuses. And with poor men, if they have nothing, they will still have the audacity. Yeah. They will still have the audacity to treat you badly. They will still have the audacity to take from you and expect above and beyond from you when they are literally giving nothing, literally nothing. And I know because it has happened to me. There are so many unrealistic expectations on social media that are posted. People post highlight reels on social media. And when you see these people posting their boyfriend or their husband, taking them on trips to Bali and Italy and renting out yachts for them, take into account that man's tax bracket. Also take into account that that's a highlight reel. That man could have been saving his whole life for that. And it's creating this abundance of unrealistic expectations that a man should go spend money that he doesn't have on your every woman desire. And that's just not the case. You have to understand that if a man is young and a man is working towards a dream life with you and he has a protecting and providing mindset that those things will come. But if he's in high school, don't expect him to go buy you a Louis Vuitton bag. That's just unrealistic but that also doesn't mean make excuses because there are men that are within a very low tax bracket that i have seen provide for their entire family make the family happy and be in that protecting and providing role and i've also seen men that have over nine hundred thousand dollars that refuse to give to their families and their wives and that is absolutely crazy your woman is at home freeing up your time to be able to make that money and you don't even want to provide anything for her or your children. Do an evaluation because what's more important is not how much he makes in a year. It is the generosity factor. The generosity factor plays a huge role in how a man is going to be a provider for you and your future family. So understand that there are a lot of things that go into a relationship and what a man can offer a woman and what a woman can offer a man. There are things that you do have to look at that are far more important than finances, but finances on a man's part play a very big role because he is the provider of the relationship. And as a woman being nurturing, caring, kind, soft-spoken, somebody that is an investor woman, somebody that can help him grow his wealth. Take, for example, a Proverbs 31 woman. Whether you're religious or not, this is a perfect example of what a high value woman looks like and how she benefits the household. You can embody these traits to enhance your relationship and enhance the growth that you both will have together. This always gets a lot of backlash, but I stand on what I believe. I don't believe that a writer man, nor have I seen somebody that is a true provider and protecting man believe in this 50-50 mentality. 50-50 mentality is such a scarce mindset that has been taught within the last 30 years. Because before then, it was never, ever a topic. Now you see all of these men fighting for their women to pay for everything. Being raised by a high value man who has taught me these principles, being in a relationship with a high value man who also does not believe in these principles, and then also experiencing men that believed in the 50-50 mentality. Speaking from experience, if you are with somebody that believes in this 50-50 mentality, you are not going to be able to give. Your man is in a feminine state one two you're not going to be able to provide your value as a woman because you are too focused on being able to catch up with him 
you're not going to be able to focus on taking care of the family. You're not going to be able to focus on growing wealth together because you are too focused on being able to catch up to his tax bracket to provide 50-50. There are so many things that go deeper into it. And if you are within that relationship, by no means am I trying to attack your relationship. But so many people want to fight for the 50-50 to feel like more equal or more of a woman, but I fail to see how that benefits you in any way when you are already doing so many things on top of that as a woman within your relationship. Stepping away from those 50-50 relationships is something that would greatly benefit you because something that my dad taught me is that a true providing and protecting man does not want to see his woman struggle. And this is assuming that this is a high value man with a high value woman, does not want to see his woman struggle. A man is going to work to provide and protect for his family. And if he is forcing his woman to, woman to take on things on top of everything else that she also brings to the relationship as a high value woman, that man is unfit to be in a marriage. A man who wants to benefit from a woman, wants to take from a woman, and down the line, consider how this is going to drain you and your relationship with your family. And like I said, this goes above and beyond finances. It's not about him paying for every single thing on the planet. It's definitely not the case. Definitely should not be how it is either. But like I said earlier, I have seen people that are making close to a million dollars not want to do anything and expect the woman to pay for absolutely everything and keep everything for themselves. And I've also seen people that are making 60,000 a year being able to provide above and beyond for their family in a way that is smart for them and makes sense for them. A provider high value man will understand that if his woman is high value, she provides more than finances. She provides more than paying 50% of the bill at dinner. So now going over some specific traits of a high value woman within a relationship. A woman that is constantly working on self-development is going to not only attract somebody that is high value, but you're also going to have a longer and deeper relationship if you both are working on your self-development. Because you have to understand that people are going to change. People change every single day. But it's also important that you understand that if you're not working to get better, you're gonna actively get worse. The goal is not to stay the same and it is very rare that you see somebody that stays the exact same throughout their entire life. So what are you doing to improve yourself, your mindset, your beliefs? What are you doing to bring value to the relationship? What are you doing to bring value to yourself and to your life? Another thing is having hobbies. A high value man is going to want to stand by somebody that has hobbies, that has goals, and that is strong in her creative outlet. A goal setting woman is so powerful because not only are you being able to set goals with each other and for each other, but you're also able to plan out aspects of your life and reach those milestones together. And this one is something that a lot of women struggle with being able to control your mouth. This looks like not always gossiping about everyone. When you talk to your man, they don't want to hear you always speaking negatively about everyone and everything and always complaining and nagging and thinking, oh, well, everything is always wrong with everyone else and nothing's ever wrong with me. And no one wants to hear about all your inconveniences at every time of the day. And somebody that constantly complains about their life and complains about everyone that inconveniences them establishes that they have nothing else to talk about than how other people convenience them. And if you have nothing other to talk about than how other people inconvenience you, you're not only establishing that you have low value within a relationship, you're establishing low value with everyone. A high value man is extremely attracted to a woman that is willing to follow his lead. And that gets a lot of backlash because so many women that step into this masculine role, they don't want to let go of control. And I think being accountable and knowing that, oh, wow, like I guess I do really want to control things sometimes. 
and I have to know what's going to happen, where we're going out to eat, and I have to be the one to plan this and plan that. Speaking from experience, I used to be like that. I used to be the girl that wanted to make things easy for him and plan every single date and, you know, nag about things. And it's just like, one, if you are in a healthy feminine state, if you are expressing high value, those things will already come to you. If you are high value in a relationship with a high value man, the things that you want are gonna come running to you. But they can't if you are in a masculine state and not allowing him to be in his inherent masculine energy. Being able to submit to a leading man, somebody that has good leadership, somebody that can really make decisions and stand on their decisions, but also take into account how you feel is so important. Being able to submit to a man does not mean that your opinions are never heard. It doesn't mean that you're just slaving to somebody. It's about being able to trust somebody's leadership. And that's why having that protecting and providing man is so important because if you can't rely on the man that you're with, how can you rely on him to make some decisions? A true high value man will pay attention to the things that you want and love and need and be able to just make decisions based off of that and ask your opinion on what you think about things before making decisions. A high value woman is also modest and humble. And I know a lot of women dress very immodestly to attract men, but something I didn't understand until recently is that you attract certain people and certain energies with the way that you dress, with the way that you talk, the way that you present yourself. And a high value man will not want to attract a woman that is constantly showing off her body to everyone else. And I know it hurts. I know it hurts because I didn't want to accept this, but when I was dressing immodestly and I was showing my body off to everyone and every anything, like, yes, you can be proud of your body. That doesn't mean you can't dress like how you want to, but just be aware that you're attracting the wrong type of people and people that want your body for sex and just want your body and that's not high value so don't don't expect a high value man to be attracted to that and want to take that seriously because it's communicating that you don't take yourself seriously an arrogant woman is such a turn off to a high value man because no one wants to be around somebody that is constantly talking about themselves or thinking that they're better than everyone else and saying things like, oh, well. Girls like me can't believe that they did that. Do they know who I am? I can't believe that he doesn't like me. Like, look at me. Your value is not established by just how you look. You're establishing your value based on how you act and based on how you treat other people, how you represent yourself. So if in all these other areas, you're having all of these bad qualities and yet you think just because you're beautiful, you're going to attract this high value, goal-oriented, family-oriented, protecting, providing man, you are sadly mistaken. A high value woman is also calm and gentle and she is not abrasive and isn't always causing problems between people. And you can tell if somebody is a calm and gentle person or if somebody is chaotic and a bad person almost off the rip so if you feel like you aren't attracting these high value men it's time to do an intern evaluation and some things it may hurt honestly because when you really evaluate yourself and evaluate what it is that you need to work on change is hard change hurts it hurts to realize wow I really need to work on myself in this area. But I want you to pivot in a positive direction and say instead, like, I'm looking to improve. And I know I need to improve on this because this, acting this way, doing these things, dressing this way, not being nurturing and caring to other people has only attracted me men I don't like, relationships I don't like, friends I don't like. If you haven't seen my video on femininity, I'll link it right here. You can go and watch that video and that will also help you to understand feminine traits and qualities. Being able to step into your feminine energy is so important. It's so important because once you're able to do that, you start receiving more.
you start receiving more. And it's not just from relationships, but friendships as well. And as a woman that used to be very masculine in the actions I would take and the things I would do, the things I would say, how I would act within a relationship, I can tell you that my life is completely changed just by stepping into the femininity, my feminine energy, and really honing in what that means to me and following all of these things. It's hard, but you have to stop clinging to your masculine habits and being able to release them. Release the need to control. Release the need to know everything. Release the need to be able to have a hold on other people because it doesn't do anything for anyone. And if anything, it's hurting you and it's hurting others. I used to be in my masculine energy so much and it brought me nothing but suffering. I attracted men that were extremely feminine and had absolutely nothing to offer me in a relationship because I know what I can offer in my relationships. I know what I can. And it's not my job to try to prove that to anyone and it's not your job to try to prove that to anyone. But having and stepping into your high value, you'll be able to discern who is worth that energy and who is not. Because not everybody is worth that. Being in that masculine energy really broke me. It really did. Because it's not natural. It's not a natural state of being for a woman in a high value relationship. And when you are establishing yourself as low value, remember that you're attracting low value experiences and men. Oh, I really live in so much peace knowing that I have a great guide as a father and knowing what to look for in a high value man and knowing that I am with a high value man who treats me like a high value woman because I've established that without even having to say it. You are high value, establish it, walk into it and know that you are high value establish it everywhere you go the last thing i want to leave you with today is remember that there are expectations on both both ends on both sides of the spectrums a high value man is expecting high value things from his woman just like you should be expecting high value things from a high value man don't forget to subscribe become part of the family follow me on instagram and let me know in the comments what kind of videos you guys would like to see in the future. I love all of you and I want to see you win. I want to see you succeed. That's my goal. To see you win, to see you succeed and change your life. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.